Hello and welcome to the Summit Crochet Podcast. My name is Claudia and I'm coming to you from Germany. Today is Friday, whoop whoop, weekend! <laughs> it's far too hot for what I'm wearing, but I wanted to wear this because it's exactly what this episode is all about, color work crochet. So what I'm wearing is my Wyandotte sweater. I call it Wyandotte because that's the type of chicken and the pattern for this is actually a knitting pattern i've talked about this numerous times before i've used the knitting pattern jupiter crop by boil and knitworks and i've turned this or i've made it in crochet and that's what i'm wearing and that's what i'm sweating in <laughs> yeah but i wanted to show you how wonderful crochet color work can be it doesn't have to be knitting all the time you can make your perfect crochet color work sweater easily so what do i have for you today i have for you two works in progress i have for you three works in progress two are crochet and one is knitting. And then I have my finished Vesuvius tea in the background there. So let's start with finished objects, as always. If I turn to the left completely, does it focus on, let me, Is this now in focus? I hope it is. This is my Vesuvius tea. I've used, <laughs> I've used a four millimeter hook instead of a recommended size. So my hook was bigger. My yarn was heavier. I used Atelier Citron Rami Deluxe, which I had left over from another project. I wanted to use that, so that's why I chose a heavier yarn. And I didn't have any yarn with linen content. And yeah, that's that's just what I chose. I love the color. It's quite, um, it's like a light rose beige. 
and I really like it. It is, however, well, the construction is that you start at the back of the top and then you work the sleeve caps and my sleeve caps, which or shoulder caps, which should just cover my shoulders were actually so large that they were already three quarter length sleeves. <laughs> so what I did was that I, that I seamed the sleeves together and then I joined the rest in the round and then I continued from there. So it is, it started as the Vesuvius tea and it was finished as my own Vesuvius version. <laughs> but I really like it. It's a light top, even though too warm right now as well. But um, yeah, it is a little bit, I mean, the, the structure of the fabric is a little bit see-through and I still have to get a nice top underneath something silky so it doesn't kind of get like velcro stuck to it to the layers and uh, otherwise you would see my bra and I'm not going for that look so <laughs> can you hear that that's a cat outside <laughs> oh such misery oh It is dry outside and the sun is shining. So he's totally fine. He just hears my voice. <laughs> Whatever, a social cat. A cat which isn't my cat. Back to the Vesuvius tea. This design is by Sandra Gutierrez, who is Nomad Stitches. And she has started on the 1st of August her very own crochet community website, which is called plyful.com and you can join there there's a monthly fee but you do have a trial period which is for free and you get one credit point for a pattern of your choice she also started at the same time she published at the same time her new pattern which is a mosaic cardi quite cute again cropped i think that's her personal style i don't go for cropped but i have plans for this cardi um, so you can use your credit for that pattern or any of the other patterns which are on, her, on the, in the library of plyful.com. And every month she's going to add another design, not necessarily her own, but there are going to be also other designers adding to the library like Linda Scuya. And um, yeah, I think it's a very nice thing. And there is a community area on the website so once you've logged in and you're a member you can talk amongst each other there are topics and there is a help section and discussions and there is an audiobook section like recommendations what are you listening to at the moment what can you recommend and what else there is a media section with videos tutorial video tutorials and you can it's an auto renewal every month but you can cancel at any time and that's basically it it's the website is based on wordpress so it's uh, it's her own it's her own website kind of thing with features like this members only area and these kind of things, these communities and websites, they grow. So I think that it has lots of potential to become a great place to be as a crocheter. So I've joined, obviously, I am still in my testing period. And um, yeah, I'm there as Sunbird Crochet, as I try to be Sunbird Crochet everywhere in social media. Yeah, and there are over 165 subscribers, I think, last time I looked. And we only have the 4th of August now, so within four days, 
there are lots of members already and they are from all over the world so if you feel like joining go and have a trial and yeah Vesuvius tea I'm going to show it to you on my body another time but I'm happy with it now I did have to frog back a couple of times um, I started with another yarn holding two strands of yarn together with um, alpaca blaze that was very itchy very fluffy very stuffing up my nose and not a good idea so that's now a kitten blanket <laughs> um, yeah you can't really frog alpaca blaze yarn it's like mohair it's like velcro and then i started with um, this yarn and I showed to you my first couple of rows and after that episode the first time I showed it to you with that yarn I realized that I had done something wrong with the increases so again I frogged it back and then I restarted and there are some projects which are just not working out the way you want them to and whatever you do there is always something like going wrong not really wrong but like there's a struggle involved but I think I've made the best out of this and what I do love most about this tea is actually the finishing of a neckline and the sleeves and the hemline which is um, like a faux crochet I caught bind off kind of thing you don't bind off in crochet but you know what I mean you finish it off so that's that but let's move on to works in progress <laughs> Let's talk about the knitting first because that's quite quickly done and de dealt with. I'm still working on my ranunculus, my second ranunculus and my second knitted garment in total. I'm on the body. I added short sleeves. I've bound off, I bound off with, uh, uh, what's it called? I caught, I caught bind off and uh, i'm very happy with it i will wear a blouse underneath and this is i'm just continuing in to work on the body until i'm finished or until i'm happy with the length this will be a little bit longer i'm going for a kind of vest look with um i mean it's not an open vest but it's like a it's like short sleeves or no sleeves really and then a very long body with some ribbing at the bottom. Not sure, maybe I will add a short ribbing on the front and a longer ribbing on the back. Maybe, I will see. So that's my ranunculus, my knitting work in progress. Crochet. Lazy Days shawl wrap. Still haven't done much about it because the Vesuvius tea was keeping me busy so much. But um, yeah, let me show it to you again. It's a very lovely repeat pattern. And this will be nice with a linen dress. I already got the linen dress. I just have to finish the a nice um, shawl and it's this is this is one end or the beginning and then I'm working in that direction and it will grow and grow and grow and I will block it and it will be absolutely lovely this is a design by Marta Mitchell what can I say she's a great designer <laughs> I think she has many more designs up her sleeve one of the designs I'm looking forward to is a new blanket she was showing it it's like a modular kind of blanket with different different um, parts like one part will be granny squares 
another part will be wavy yeah I think this will be lovely for the autumn it's not autumn yet although I see autumn things left right and center I've bought I've bought a pumpkin uh, design mug it looks like a orange pumpkin it's very unpractical for drinking out of it um, I will show it to you sometime at the moment it's in the dishwasher but uh, yeah and I've bought some decoration pumpkins already and I've bought some cinnamon spice peck sniff air freshness kind of spray stuff and it's it's all the I get all the autumn vibes or fall if you are in America and I feel like eating plum things and pumpkin things and it has been raining a lot here lately but um, it's not really summer it feels more like autumn already but I'm digressing again let me show you my other crochet project which will get much more larger I only started it last night out of a whim and again that's why I'm wearing this today like like this knitting design by Caitlin Hunter Boyle and Knitworks what I started yesterday last night is also a knitting pattern it's called Alpine Bloom I'm sure you've heard of it before you've probably seen the design and I'm right at the beginning of it at the moment so let me show you I'm using a 3.5 millimeter hook two colors it's color work sweater so my my main color is this I'm working this one from the outside where the color is lighter and it's more orange in the middle that's because I intend to use some cotton yarn from stash to go with it this will be actually quite good I will show you later with what I've done already that it works quite well together so this is vintage yarn very wind vintage yarn this is cotton it's obviously a little bit thicker and this is pre-1989 <laughs> this is very old cotton yarn it needs to be used and the color work is done the contrast color is this cake also a whirl cake raspberry something um, obviously I pulled out the middle <laughs> it's yarn bath <laughs> so um, yeah I'm working on it haven't come very far yet but let me show you what I do have um, <laughs> it's literally just the beginning I've started not with a ribbing but with the amount of stitches which I need for the area before the ribbing or oh, ah, you know for the opening for the head so this happens to be 135 stitches. I used a so-called long tail cast on crochet method, which gives it a, a little bit more of a stretch here at the top. Not much because this is obviously also cotton yarn, but um, it's it gives it gives a nice beginning it's it's um, it's easy to begin with that with this beginning you don't chain and then work your single crochets into the chains but you wrap your tail around the hook and then you can easily adjust the length of your piece and I've made 135 stitches and then I joined in the round and where I joined was the center of my back and then I worked forth, back and forth back and forth a couple of times adding nine, stitch, nine stitches like short rows or not like 
short it is short rows um, so that the back here at the neck is a little bit longer than the front that will then make sure that I don't get this like this one here it feels like a little bit close too close to the neck there is a wasp oh. it feels a little bit too close to the neck but this one is better shaped that way I could have done more neck shaping or back shaping but uh, I didn't I think it will be fine and now I'm, I've started on the color work. I only just started, you see. The pattern repeat is a nine stitch pattern at the beginning. So I obviously had to start with a multiple of nine stitches. So I made 135 stitches and then I started with the pattern as the, the chart, the color work chart pattern following the knitting pattern <laughs> it makes total sense to me and i hope it does to you as well so i will continue doing that i will increase where the pattern says i should increase if i would be knitting it and i will keep an eye on the shape it should lie flat if i put it on the floor this shouldn't buckle at all. Okay, so if it does, then I either have to increase quicker or slower the stitches. And since the um, crochet stitches are usually, the rows are higher than the knit stitches, this would mean that I would have to increase the stitches faster than with knitting. That's why it's good if you use a knitting pattern for your crochet colorwork sweater, then it's good if it has an area in between where you can in put sneak in more increases than the knitting pattern actually has in it. So um, yeah, I'm for the colorwork method, I'm using the extended single crochet and I am changing the color of the yarn at the last pull through of the stitch before the new color. Yeah, the Alpine Bloom has a lovely, it, it doesn't only have a color work area but the at the neck here, the beginning, has a bit of a floral texture and I think that I will you see add it's very similar so I will add this vintage cotton yarn to it and I will make a border in shells or floral design something like that a little subtle but it's not going to be your normal neck <laughs> border or it's not going to be a ribbing and the same thing will happen at the sleeves there so I will see how it goes and I will keep you updated talking about updating let's chat a bit Brand new update for today, as of the 4th of August 2023, you can now pre-order the newest Murid magazine. Yes, and it's all about Highland Retreat. And I've seen a couple of photos already. The patterns are out there. If you go to the Murid magazine Instagram account, you can preview all the lovely designs also on the website Word Magazine of course and um, I think I've already got a favorite <laughs> so I am currently debating with myself if I shall buy the digital version only or if I shall buy both the print version 
which comes with the digital version as well. Probably the latter because I already got every single Murad magazine which was published so far in my bookcase. So it's a collection, right? Yeah. So now that's all from me for today. Rather a short episode, I'm afraid, but um, that's how things go. I need to get out of this sweater. It is really far too hot. Let me just show it to you again. I will stand up and I will show you the details closer. All right, and I will see you next time, hopefully with more things to show and probably with more new projects. <laughs> All right.